The short feel wedge shot can create loads of problems for players. And we're talking about a shot that's maybe 10 or 20 yards of carry. And there's a couple of key factors we really need when we're playing this shot. I think the first thing is no divot. Okay, if we're creating a divot on this shot, that tells me angle of attack's too steep, that leading edge is digging into the ground. We're looking for shallow contact. So that would indicate we don't want hardly any wrist motion and certainly no bending and shortening of the arms here during the stroke. So what we want to get you to do, a couple of things. Number one, in your setup, feel like that left wrist is already slightly uncocked. You'll almost sense that your club is sitting slightly on its toe. Keep the ball in the centre, weight slightly forward, but from there we're going to concentrate on maintaining the arc width of the swing, which essentially is the spacing from the hands to the chest as we're just moving that golf club backwards and forwards. We don't want any, if you like, shortening of this area here between the hands and the body. We want to try and maintain that at a constant backwards and forwards. So minimal wrist action, just feeling that the arms are moving the club backwards and forwards, that left wrist uncocked to start with, and just a little bit of body rotation through the shot. They can almost just sense the club just very lightly skimming the floor down there. I don't want the club digging in at any point. And this ball's going to be stopping more because of the trajectory than it is because of the spin you're going to impart on the ball. So it will look like a slightly higher launch shot. It's going to land nice and soft. So again, we're going to maintain that arc width, no wrists, backwards and forwards. That's nice. That ball's just going to pop up and land itself on the green.